And it's Blood Destiny kicking clear once more over the last from Nazareth Common Practice. And on the run in, it's Blood Destiny again, impressing in pretty much every department. Wins hard hell for Paul Town and Willie Mullins. The race displays. Hurdle goes in emphatic fashion. And it's Blood Destiny kicking clear once more over the last from Nazareth Common Practice. And on the run in, it's Blood Destiny again, impressing in pretty much every department. Wins hard hell for Paul Town and Willie Mullins. The race displays. Hurdle goes in emphatic fashion to the favourite Blood Destiny Common Practice, Nazareth 2-3. at the final flight. Fed ends aloft her own challenging and what could have been is coming on the outside. 150 yards to go and it's Fed ends is collared late on by what could have been. What could have been at Aidan Kelly go on to win from Fed ends at the final flight. Fed ends aloft her own challenging and what could have been is coming on the outside. 150 yards to go and it's Fed ends is collared late on by what could have been. What could have been at Aidan Kelly go on to win from Fed ends in third law of her own, splashing out in fourth. At the final flight, Corbett's cross into the last, safely over, pops it by a good six lengths from Marta de Vinescher. Why not? Runs on for a place. But it's Corbett's cross collecting again from Maxine and Eugene O'Sullivan in the Philip O'Connor Memorial. Lifetime friend of Ferry House, three mile handicap at the final flight. Corbett's cross into the last, safely over, pops it by a good six lengths from Martin of Vinescher. Why not? Runs on for a place. But it's Corbett's cross collecting again from Maxine and Eugene O'Sullivan in the Philip O'Connor Memorial. Lifetime friend of Ferry House, three mile handicap. Martin of Vinescher, why not? Followed in the winner, and then Bodhi Satva and Rebellious Gale. And at the last, it's Rebel Go, the leader, is over in front by a lead of three lengths, if not four now. And it's Rebel Gold pulling right away with the Dan and Joan Moore Memorial Handicap Chase. A fine victory for Pat Foley in the training capacity. And at the last, it's Rebel Go, the leader, is over in front by a lead of three lengths, if not four now. And it's Rebel Gold pulling right away with the Dan and Joan Moore Memorial Handicap Chase. A fine victory for Pat Foley in the training capacity as Rebel Gold and Dennis O'Regan won very well from Don Vegan and Epson Do. Flame Bearer is over there, made a very bad mistake and survived as Flame Bearer comes up to the line, just that one blemish at the last is now three from three here at Fairy House. Doubles up for Paul Town and, and Willie Mullins. Flame Bearer is over there, made a very bad mistake. And survived as Flame Bearer comes up to the line. Just that one blemish at the last is now three from three here at Fairy House. Doubles up for Paul Town and, and Willie Mullins with France best of the rest for Ross Berry. In second place, third, a slip of the tongue, Simon Torrens. And getting round fourth. And last, the man in the boots, Ricky Doyle. Jump between her and victory, safely over. Gets a crack behind the saddle. Is out a good six to seven lengths cleared of Wellington Hill and then Clonbury Bridge Bay Ambition and Innovated. But it is must be obeyed, putting up a fine front running performance containing all rivals. Jump between her and victory, safely over, gets a crack behind the saddle. Is out a good six to seven lengths cleared of Wellington Hill and then Clonbury Bridge Bay Ambition and Innovated. But it is must be obeyed putting up a fine front-running performance, containing all rivals to beat Wellington Hill, Clonbury Bridge, Bay Ambition, innovated and still coming on. The final finisher will be Cartwright. But it's Westport Cove opening up 
a good three to four length advantage of uh, Faulty and then Great Universe running on into third place. But it's Westport Cove bringing up a Saturday treble for Willie Mullins as Patrick Boots home, Westport Cove. But it's Westport Cove opening up a good three to four length advantage of uh, Faulty and then Great Universe running on into third place. But it's Westport Cove bringing up a Saturday treble for Willie Mullins as Patrick Boots home, Westport Cove. To beat Faulty, Great Universe, Valanthus, well clear of Michaela's choice, the Mon Lulu.